Okay. Just because you got you got a hard out. I got a hard out. And I'm hard in. <laughs> I'm hard going in. You're Stop gonna be hard out. <laughs> I'm hard right now. The hard it's weird that hard out is the thing because you'd think it would be hard in kind of more soft out. You know what I mean? Right. Like why does it have to be so aggressive going out? How quick why can't why can't we why can't I hard in, you know, start punctual? Mm-hmm. Cause, and if we're using sex as the metaphor, that's, that's what I'm thinking. You go hard in, mm-hmm. and then obviously you get too tired. You go, go soft, and then you go soft. You go, excuse me, ma'am, you're beautiful, but I just, frankly, I just don't want to have sex anymore. You're beautiful in the way a piece of art is beautiful. Yes, you're beautiful in the way you know. Uh, I'm just thinking this off the top of my head, but like a piece of art is beautiful. Yeah. Is that objectification? Um, no, right. I think objectifying would have to be. It's more like uh, uh, rude. You mm-hmm. you wouldn't you wouldn't objectify a piece of art. You speak know? for yourself, brother. You're you're you're, appreci- you're appreciating. <laughs> objectifying would be like, what? Well, how would you even objectify a piece of art? I mean, it's my like. My... Ah, look how pretty that is, and then you just yeah. like. Touch it, you know, you just kind of like disregard the sign. Yeah, <laughs> disregard the sign. You know? What, uh, how, how quick are you getting soft after, after you're busting that nut? Is it like a, a balloon deflating? Like, <laughs> you know rubber? what? It really is. I don't fucking know anymore, man. Because like I've been having sometimes the worst sex ever, or I'm like a young god, you know? Like <laughs> I had sex with a lady recently and busted, and then immediately, Two minutes later, I was like right back. I was like, wow. I was like, I'm ready for round two, dude. And then, and then, sorry, being a little New York slut over here, I apologize, you know. But then I'm like, I'm gonna have sex with this other lady. This was a few weeks ago. Oh wow, this is crazy. and uh, and uh, <laughs> fucking crazy. And I'm like, I'm like kind of drunk and i was like ah, i don't really know and she's like oh just come up and i was like all right i'll come up to your place and then i'm kind of like maybe we should just go to bed you know i'm because i'm like going i'm going full soft you know mm-hmm. and uh and uh and then we get you know getting in her bed and then like, i go hard and then i bust in like a minute so that's the worst the worst of both yeah. worlds you had I was like, like a you know hard what? out and a hard in yeah. i had a i <laughs> No, that was soft. That was soft in. Hard out. <laughs> that was basically soft in, hard out. I was like, ah, I think I'm nervous. I don't know about a one night stand. This is crazy. I'm drunk. And she's like, okay, that's fine. Kind of lame. And then I'm like, ah, may- okay, maybe it's- everything's working down there. And then a-, a bust in a minute. And it's like, well, fucking. You showed from you her showed perspective. Only bad qualities. <laughs> only bad qualities. Like, too, I'm too nervous. Dick doesn't work. Speaking <laughs> of, this is why we might need. Listen. Oh, all right. listen, yeah. guys. This is why you need to go joy mode. Is that our guys? It is. Yeah, those are. Our yeah. Guys. See, I remembered. You know, yeah. uh, I remembered over the long holiday break. But yeah. Uh, yeah let's, so let's, either I'm terrible at sex or uh, dude, let's just hop. Times good. I don't know. Let's I don't know. Hop right into on. this. If uh, yeah, why, we might so, as well. Yeah. So it's the We Cool Podcast. Uh, Grant here, Tommy there, uh, Ryan will be joining us. Um, he's just running a little late, folks. He he texted us like over an hour ago saying he was going to be 15 minutes late. So I don't know. I mean, that's good. Good on Yeah, him. that is good. It's good planning, you know, but, but it's um, just like, you know, you have an hour. Why can't you just hustle it up? Like make up that time somewhere. But I feel like, I feel like you can cut something out here. It's probably a work thing though. I don't know. I don't know. Um, But anyways, we did get, he got this anonymous uh, listener writing in and you don't have to go into this, but we probably should address uh, something since we're talking about, uh, you know, such sh- such disgusting uh, uh, sexual uh, promiscuity. Uh, oh my god, I felt come, so bad for this lady. That how I... come? How come Tommy was talking about kissing girls at the bar? <laughs> if he has a girlfriend, didn't this dude have a girlfriend like a week ago? Are you Polly or is he cheating scum? I'm not uh, cheating scum. Uh, yeah, you can, you can address it however you want, but I did. Feel uh, it. We broke up. Uh, like um, I don't know. Th- these episodes get recorded at like different times or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like I will say that that like your timeline doesn't match up with our timeline. But uh, I didn't cheat, and no, I'm not 
Polly. Okay. <laughs> no, no, res- <laughs> don't disrespect if you're Polly. Everything. Yeah, don't fine. say that like it's it's that yeah. great. No, nah, I know. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even one of those Polly hating guys. I think it's. I, I think it's fine if you want to do that. Honestly. Um. So okay. But no, no, I did. I didn't cheat. Uh. Uh. We were broken up with. We broke up at like a. I mean, a week before Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So. I think I was making out with a girl at a bar like a week. I don't know. We were only together for like a couple months. I don't know. It, like, you you can say as much or as little as you want. Should I feel sorry? Should I apologize? Like, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to date and no, figure it you out. Can do you whatever know? you want. It's not. Yeah, I haven't have done to explain no. anything. But I did think you might want to uh, put it out there because there has been some conflicting narratives. Uh, it is funny just to be like kissing girls at the bar. That's dude, awesome. I keep getting drunk and like, like some. Re- it sounds like some recess shit. Like, dude, I know, dude. I'll get like drunk at a bar and talk to a girl and be like, "You want to fucking like make out or something?" Yeah. I dude, mean, like, I'll like have a cigarette outside, or you know. Yeah, yeah. It goes to and my point. Like, that, then, sorry, go on. Well, then, and she'll always be like, "Do you want to come back to my place?" And I'm like, "No, I'm like I'm just tired as fuck." Um, like go it goes home. to my point that uh, Brooklyn is basically just like elementary school for anybody age like twenty to forty. It's just yeah, you can. It's just a fun time. It's great school. Yeah. Um, okay, we did have so let's just let's just knock somebody. I think sometimes you get we get these submissions and it'll be like three back to back to back. It is twenty on. <laughs> just what? to push back of your. It is yeah. In grade school, you're just you have a girlfriend from like math class to like like you know <laughs> second period to like fifth period and then you'll break up yeah yeah that's like that's like a, a week <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> that's like the course of like a week in mm-hmm. in brooklyn you know and also i'm trying not to do that i'm a little bit going i've kind of made the decision into the new year and a little bit that i'm going i'm going monk mode okay i'm just gonna get into like you know, I'm gonna do like dry January. Dude, so am I. So am I. Yeah, doing dry January. Uh, and just like uh, get start reading some books. Okay. You know, the, uh, do you have a reading list? What you got? What you got? Uh, the I have. Dude, I really got like not honestly like nothing. <laughs> like, I was thinking about. <laughs> uh, there's like a there's like a few things like people want to like borrow me some books. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm uh, right now. I'm reading. I'm reading books of like mindfulness and like. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's like good Buddhist, idea. like Buddhist shit. You know, Dude, it's it's corny as fuck, but I have read like a couple self help books, and it's like you need to. There, there are some good nuggets in there, especially yeah. if you're feeling like at a point in your life where you're like, I can kind of redefine some things, or I'm looking for like a like if you kind of feel like you're plateauing or something, it's like. There can be some mindset shifter, yeah. but you can't like maybe you like can't... Ram Dass. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Like shit like, you know, I don't know, like not like self-help, but like every, well, every book's it's, it's a self-help like book. I've, I've read every book and gained insight about myself. Every book, even yeah. Mein Kampf, which I know you read <laughs> on an annual basis. Oh man. And I'm getting sick again, man. <laughs> Dude. I'm getting sick again, dude. Should I get the COVID uh, booster? It's people are saying. Hey, got COVID. So I think I'm getting something <laughs> else, man. Are you, I got COVID like two months ago. Yes. Uh, it is. It's elementary school, bro. <laughs> it's like, you guys, dude. Every single time I, t- I, every single time I take a plane, I get sick. You can get cheesy bread dunkers at all times of the night, and you can just you <laughs> just give each other hand and foot and mouth disease. Yeah, and- it's a city for children. <laughs> It's a city for fucking fourth graders. Uh, yeah. uh, what I'm are you not, reading, man? What are you thinking, dude? I'm reading. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of in the same place right now. Um, I'm like I want to do Dry January. There's this thing like I haven't done Dry January ever. I don't think I've taken months off drinking, but never for January. And there's this thing for me where it's like. I, I've been trying to, I mean, we talk about this a lot, like temper my drinking and not like you're trying to like not ever like party too much. It's like because we all right. like to party. So you have to you really have to be mindful of not being just like some fucking drunk asshole every time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've been I've been tempering. I just think. Yeah. No, I think I think, I think the holidays took it out of me. Though. Exactly. But there's this thing where I know like 
I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be drinking for a month, which seems like it doesn't seem long, but then it also seems like the longest time ever to do not yeah. do something. And so that makes me like drink more in the lead up to that month. No, <laughs> see, I'm stopping. I'm stopping this week just because I don't feel it's so That's hot. It. Yeah. And then I think New Year's Eve, man, I think I'm just going to go to my boy's crib and like maybe have a few beers and like stay up till midnight and then go because I got work in the morning. So I'm, I don't want to like, yeah, yeah, feel like shit, you know? No, so. I've, uh, I've, I've, my, I mean, I did, I went, uh, I went pretty hard over the, the holiday weekend, but, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's in the past. In the past, it's like if I know I'm taking a month off drinking, it'll actually be like, yeah, few months leading up to that where I'm like, I gotta you're, you're training. All in. You're, I gotta you're getting you're, you're training in. to not drink. <laughs> yeah, by just you're practicing really hard by making myself more addicted. But um, no, I, I, so I'm 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 really looking forward to it. But also, like, I just think there's I'm at. I don't know. I'm I'm feeling like the New Year's kind of resolutiony more so this year than I really have for a long time. Dude, I am past. too. I'm I'm getting pretty resolutiony in my head about comedy. Yeah, me too. I gotta figure something out because yeah, we I think we both have to figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta figure something out, dude. And but I'm, that's my resolution is figure something out. Figure anything. it out. <laughs> Literally, figure anything out. <laughs> Cause um I haven't uh, I haven't mentioned this yet but I I got hired at Acme like two weeks Congra ago. congratulations dude thank you nice. very I already excited seen that in the group chat um yeah yeah no and but uh it's weird because that's a thing that I've been working towards like that has kind of been like for the for it's been like two or three years that I've been working towards that but definitely over the last year like that has shifted to kind of like one of my only goals in comedy, like one of my only concrete, like this is something that I'm definitely like strategically working at. Yeah. I'm still trying to do other stuff, but I've been like working the road less. Like these other things are kind of like, I've been dialing those back. Mm -hmm. And now that I got it, I I'm very excited. And I'm like, I'm trying to yeah. give myself some space to like, see what that is and like you know well, doesn't it also feel like when you got it it just, does it kind of feel like you were just ready yeah yeah i like, mean i feel like a lot of times when i've gotten things in comedy it's it's it hasn't been um not nothing like over the moon because i'm just like yeah i can do that yeah. i've always felt prepared you know and, like the only thing i wasn't prepared for was like when i think i featured my first time and then you still like figure it out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you yeah. were but it's like you always, not always, but I think a lot of times you are prepared and then it's either you know or you don't know if you're prepared. Mm -hmm. so I felt the same way about featuring, like you do a long set for the first time. And it's like, you know, that's one thing. But with this, it's like we had been being kind of auditioned and in the mix. So me and three other people got hired at Acme and uh, we all kind of knew we were getting auditioned since like August. So mm -hmm. we were kind of just in purgatory until a yeah. couple weeks ago because oh, it's nice to be let go. Yeah. It's it, yeah. To, to be released from that. Um, yeah. but it's really weird, like career wise, cause now I got it and it's like, I don't have, I didn't have another thing like cooking because I was kind of, so I've, I've been super busy and like kind of scattered uh, outside of the comedy thing. Right. I mean, you got year. Bought a house, engaged. Not engaged, yeah, just like yeah. lots of stuff. My grandma died. Podcast, ago, grandma yeah. died. Podcast, um, yeah. uh, sponsor. You know, <laughs> and, uh, we, joy we, mode. We, I mean, a lot, a, bun, a lot of things. <laughs> it's huge. You know, a lot yeah. of big things happening. Um, uh, sure. but uh, so I kind of like now. I don't really. It's a good time to kind of like um reassess and and think really think about instead of just kind of plowing forward and just doing whatever falls into your lap or whatever, just kind of do staying in the same old routines of stuff is like, mm -hmm. think about, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know yet, but I have been thinking about it and it, it feels weird. It, I've never been in this position where like I attain something I've been working so hard at. Yeah. Then it almost feels like you're, you're like, you don't know what to do afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's and it's a little endless. Yeah, because it's just but it's, it's kind of nice. You just kind of keep, you just gotta keep running. 
Well, and that's why I'm also trying to actually not stress myself out too much yeah. about making myself pick a new thing then to it's like it's okay to take like yeah. a couple weeks and just be like, yeah. I yeah, do. mine's mine's a, mine's similar, but it's more like um it's it's more like I I don't know. I just it's like okay, let's let's make a really funny thing in like the next month. Like that's kind of like where my head's head is at. Because every single time I make like a funny thing, it, like a lot of good things start happening to me in mm -hmm. like the physical world, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I feel better about myself too in the physical world. Being like the not physical world is like online and posting mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like putting something out that's like a good joke or like a good sketch, then like I've, you know, and maybe I shouldn't base off so much of my well being off like my output. Maybe that's, you know, maybe it doesn't need to be all that either. But uh, yeah, I'm like, like okay, for this month, let's make like a funny thing, and then keep, you know, go keep going or whatever. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I will say, um, and it's not like for me, it has helped to to have like um, like measurable goals. You know what I mean? Because I think for the longest time, and with yeah. comedy, it is like this this kind of intangible like unmeasurable thing a lot of the times to be like how how do you even tell if you're progressing or well, i mean we got we got a podcast sponsor so that's like one yeah i mean yeah that, one, that one is huge, true but one we, huge indicator no <laughs> it kind of it i mean it's not but speaking of i need you need to send me joy mode i couldn't get my pp up the other night oh, <laughs> that's fucking or crazy, a few weeks man. ago whatever that's I mean, I can't. I, maybe that's because Dude, one night stands are hard because sometimes you're just in a new apartment and you're like, this place smells weird. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and like, I, you don't like. I don't know about. I don't know. Like, where where are the roommates at? What's going I mean, on? Here? Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, like the just the <laughs> the nuts and bolts of hooking up. It's yeah, like you don't know where how to work other people's bodies, dude, and it can be like mm -hmm. awkward. I think that's why drinking helps people with one night stands so much because, of course, it helps. It helps blow everything. Past, it helps everything all but all the, the physical, all the indicators. Yeah, all, anything that might trip you up, you're you're too drunk to fucking realize, right? I mean, dude, one hundred percent. It's the it's the beauty. Yeah, but that's why we're going monk mode. Do you have any book recommendations for me? Um, yeah, I think you, I think you, I you got some good some stuff. Yeah, I I the I'm the book I'm reading right now, it's um it's called uh The Israel Palestine Conflict 100 <laughs> Years of War. Uh so I would maybe uh it's it's, yeah. it's a bit of a slog. I'll be well, I got a yeah, I uh I got a I got some bad news. I actually wrote that book. So, <laughs> Shit, uh, you don't even want to like, you don't even want to send it my way. I can't even believe I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, it's cuz my pen name is Thomas Thomas James. <laughs> my pen name. But the, so the, your your so picture I, is on the cover. <laughs> now that I'm I have it. I wrote the book on Israel and Palestine. It's just a I wrote glamour, the book. It's a glamour shot of you. <laughs> yeah, it's imagine. a picture of me doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> It's a oh. picture of me that I posted on my Instagram of doing stand-up <laughs> comedy. Um, yeah, so uh, it's it's a textbook basically, and um, yeah. yeah, the the subtitle is a hundred years of war. <laughs> I'm thinking more. Yeah, I'm thinking this a little. Book is more like a hundred years of war, man. This this thing is tough to get through. It's man. tough. It's tough in my head <laughs> to get there. Listen, I wrote it, and I didn't make, want it to be fun. <laughs> Not fun. It's... I wouldn't. I would if if. Yeah, I would I wouldn't recommend that unless you really are trying to dig in. And see, this is yeah. but this it's is a, it's it's this... you on the bus reading that <laughs> book and just laughing your ass off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, he didn't. Oh, he he said what? <laughs> oh. Um. So huh. I, yeah, unless you're really trying to to get into that, um. Which I, everybody should be, but um, no, yeah. I would. I did some. Uh, yeah, Wikip me, I did some Wikipedian. Let me. Wikipedia. Uh, let me. Put I'm a, I'm a, a Wikipedian. Let me put together a little list for you, um, because I don't. 
the easy thing to be would just to name off a bunch of books that I just read, but I think yeah, I just read Kurt Vonnegut. Which short one? stories? Well, uh, Welcome to the Monkey House. I've already I read a few of his books, and I picked up short stories because it's like a nice small thing to read on the train. Have you read um Breakfast of Champions? Um, no, but I've had their cereal Wheaties, <laughs> and uh. It, and I've read the back of that box. So in a way, yes, I have read Breakfast, Breakfast of Champions. Champions. Means, you mean pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've I've, I've ate yeah, it. Yeah, all right, ladies. Done everything. Ladies, Hello, everyone. I'm, ladies, not, I'm here, by the way. You read you you read pussy like Braille, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Helen Keller on the pussy. I yes. can't see it, hear it, or smell it. And that's one of my greatest assets as a as a champion pussy eater. This is like when John Cena comes in, dude. Coming in. Yeah. Coming in hot. The yeah. show's already started, but I'm coming in. I had to like activate you by touch because you were <laughs> Yeah, you were came in and sat yeah. down and he wasn't jumping in and I touched his shoulder. <laughs> he started and he talking about said, Oh yes, that's right. I'm podcasting, brother. <laughs> that's what my girlfriend does, by the way. She touches me and I start eating her pussy. You just mm-hmm. I yeah. know. Start devouring. I go, she must want me to do that. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> emotionally intelligent. She's in really in the mood in this Denny's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll yeah. go put on my bitch in a Denny's, dude. I don't care. <laughs> we've been talking a lot. Of, we've been talking some show, social media talk. Speaking of social media talk, Ryan, on your Instagram stories, you're a renowned pussy eater of your yeah. girlfriend, whom you dearly love. Yeah, Is and this- I lie. Yeah, I lie on my Instagram story. But oh no. Yeah, I You're lie. Cabin? Time, dude. You're cabin on IG. Are you cabin? Yeah, Do you want to apologize for that? No, I suck at eating pussy, and I won't apologize for not. Dude, I was just telling pussy. Grant how I suck at having sex. That's all right. We all go through, you know, ups and downs. Joint. Well, that's part of sex. And it's. Dude, all- I've been. And then you I, go down. I was telling Grant, dude. I was uh I was kind of like one night stand with this woman. Couldn't get hard. And then I'm like, I'm sorry. I think I'm tired or whatever. Were you and drunk? Like, what huh? Were you drunk or were you doing? Yeah, a little, dr- little drunk, you know. Doing a little, doing a little. Yeah, doing like, ah, this never happens. It happens all the time. Yeah, going up to a girl. Sorry, <laughs> this this always happens. Sorry, this happens every, I don't know why I keep trying. Frankly. Dude, finally get hard, bust in 60 seconds flat. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Uh, check, please. <laughs> um, I'll have what she's having. Yeah. 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 I'll but have so quickly, had, and I'm, I'm just had. like, I don't know. I'm bad. Let me, let me, what can I say? I'm bad yeah. at this. Yeah, now I'm done for the night, too. It's not. It's yeah, not- and now I'm really tired, and now I'm really going to bed. You know so. what you do? If you bust early, you just go, I'm sorry. You're just, you're so pretty. Yeah, but I couldn't even do that because I was like, sorry, uh, you're ugly. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I never said that. Oh, but... Tommy. Yeah. So, uh, he's so ugly. That's why even I... if he is. No, no, no. I would never I would never do that. I'm actually a, a sweetheart. You can tell uh, a guy he's ugly, though. Yeah, he's but, you know, you know, not all the time. You know, you might not want to. Yeah. yeah. Going he, up to a random dressed, guy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think... Can... This this is as good a time as any to to Why bring up if, if if you want to have what he was having mm-hmm. and if you want her to have what he was having. Oh, if you don't want to have what I was having, well, you but want you came, you came exactly. So we want they want to have what you're having. No, yes, no yes but don't come in six. Don't come yes. too quickly though. Yeah. If you don't want to have what he was having, if you don't, <laughs> if you want, if you want uh to have sex, but not the not what Tommy was doing. Uh, you might need joy mode. Yeah, dude. Yes, yes. Uh, that's the new. That's the new. You might be a redneck. Yeah, exactly. You might need, if you don't yes. get hard. You might need joy mode. Yes. Mode. Or even if your dick does get hard. All right. I mean, I think I speak for most men. Mm-hmm. Maybe it, all. Probably like most men on this podcast, I would say. For two sure. out of three two men out. on this podcast agree. <laughs> two, <laughs> out three, two, two out of three, three podcasters. Re- yeah. <laughs> two out of three podcasters recommend that their dicks don't be working. So I recommend using joy mode. Uh, we we want to have better sex, do yeah. we not? And for the sake of our partner, we may need to have better sex. Mm-hmm. Or partners, in uh, the case of this little ne- fucking... Necesito. Whore. Necesito. Yeah, we just got the thumbs up. Again. Necesito. Mas. Mas. Yo quiero mas. T- t- do you want... Yo quiero mas. You guys, do you want yo quiero almost guys, went like a British accent. Do you guys know what? Do you know what You're the like, issue is? Quiero, do you want? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys know what the issue is? Sorry, fuck. God, fuck. I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, we gotta we gotta put this up to night too. I'm sorry. That's my fuck up. I'm really sorry. 
I'm a piece okay. of shit. Well, what the issue is, first of all, is your language. And the mm-hmm. second issue is that, I mean, this is the second biggest issue hitting guys who can't get hard. It's <laughs> yes. Ryan saying the R word and over-the-counter erection pills mm-hmm. containing unregulated chemicals, suggesting unsafe dosages, and including the risk of several other health problems. Well, Brent, let me ask you this. What's the difference between Joy Mode and these over-the-counter uh, boner dicks? Well, um, let's see. Uh, (laughs) Hold on, I wasn't there yet. Let's see what they say. Uh, Okay, not only is this the only supplement you'll need in the bedroom. By the way, what is it? What is it called again? Joy mode. Joy 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 mode. mode. Guy like me needs some of that every once in a while. Oh, we love joy mode. It's the only supplement you'll need. (laughs) It also supports blood vessel support, cardiovascular and heart health, athletic performance, blood pressure, and general erection function. General erection functions. Reporting for duty. (laughs) Tell me where to point my penis. Mm -hmm. Um, All ingredients have been assessed in peer-reviewed journals, and they have been studied and researched on humans. That's right. Nice. They 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 are bypassing the animal testing phase. No Let's more monkeys humans. with boners in the zoo. Yes. And are I would you like to go into the zoo and the monkey gets a big boner. Well, guess what? Joy was yes. not doing that to him. Designed That's to right. support erection quality. I'm, I'm my finances. What's that? I'm doing that to the monkeys. Oh, by Tommy's walking, doing that. I just walking around. It's not my <laughs> oh, fault. Yeah, dude. You're wearing your fake ass. Your fake monkey ass. <laughs> 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 I got a fake chimpanzee ass for Christmas, and I've been going to the zoo and tormenting the yeah. <laughs> the, the chips. You want this? Can't have you it. This, you want this girl monkey pussy? <laughs> what? what was that? What was that? What you guys asked? It, what oh, size is it coming? Yeah, it's like how a big is it? Yeah, kit, like your favorite electrolyte powder, which. We all have. Who doesn't have a favorite electrolyte powder? So here's the thing. Simply mix six to eight ounces of water 45 minutes before sexual activity and watch the magic unfold yeah. like a folding staircase. Yeah, baby. In about 45 minutes, I'm going to want to dick you down. Just so you know. Redefine your intimacy and go to usejoymode.com for 20% off with code WECOOL. Holy W-E-C-O-O-L. shit. What's that? W-E-C-O-O-L. What's That's that website again? 20% off with code WECOOL. That's 20% off and free shipping with code WECOOL at usejoymode.com. Use, J-O-Y-M-O-D-E.com. Ingredients with integrity. Oh, whoa. It, with the heart work, dude. Brian <laughs> put it. his hands up and he made a heart work on the Zoom. I literally don't know what to do anymore because I turned this off again. I turned it off again. That's what it looks okay, like when I, I come. Like when time. I come and uh, I've been using Joy Mode. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'll never go back to using prescription or over the counter. Never, drugs. never. Really? Fuck that. Really? Not even. Not even. <laughs> not even if your doctor makes you. Or in two weeks when they don't pick us up as a sponsor. No, they'll <laughs> pick us up. Surely, surely, five of our listeners will use this <laughs> promo code and make us some fucking money for once. That promo code is W E C O L at usejoymode.com. Go to usejoymode.com slash W E C O O L and get twenty percent off with the free code We Cool at checkout. Twenty percent off. Listen up you fucking rats it's forty dollars and, and free you get shipping. you get twenty percent off free shipping mm-hmm. do you love us for forty dollars or not and do you want it's your time to, it's time to put your money work. where my dick is which is uh in a big big it's, it's in your partner. No, it's oh, in partner no it's in your partner that's yeah, you use yeah. the joy mode and you fuck them and think about us Think about us. Think about uh. Think about all the money we're gonna make. Also, hey, hundreds of dollars. If, from if you're if you're a single exactly. guy out there, grab some and just jack off and think about us. Come but on, enjoy mode. Go work out, man. Please, please. Come on again. Please. Use the Ray phone. Romano. Come on. Come on. Enjoy mode. Oh, I'm horny. Come on. We love it. I'm horny for money. Deborah, uh, Joy Mode wants to give us money. Mm, come on, don't fuck this up. It's twenty percent off with and free shipping with the code um, WeCool at use j o y m o d e dot com slash WeCool. Great sex solved naturally. Nice, good job. I've been trying to solve it unnaturally. <laughs> I've been uh, 
I've been sh uh, shocking my penis with, with <laughs> exposed wires with that are hooked up to a battery. battery. Yeah. 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 I've just been trying to solve it like like Sherlock Holmes. Just Dude, from, yeah, just like, look at it. Timer. Yeah. Just started smoking a pipe. I bought some weird hats. Dude, I watched Oppenheimer. I'm still not fucking good. Dude, Oppenheimer is a fucking really good movie. You know what I watched the other night? Interstellar. That's First great. Time. Great movie. That that one's a banger. People, some dude. people hate it. What? Yeah. Some people hate it. They go, they go, the black holes, they sucked. The black I hate holes it. sucked. Of I course hate it when they people did. try to like to do, baby. I try to I try to I hate it when people get a little too sciencey on a science movie. In the movie or people like watching the movie? Watching it, they go, yeah. actually, it's not a black hole. I'm like, you don't know. Shut up, Neil the gay ass it. Tyson. <laughs> yeah, it's always Neil deGrasse Tyson going, actually, I'm like. Actually, 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 it's a movie. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's made Matthew McConaughey. It was going, made to entertain oh. me, and it did. You dude, fucking dick. Maybe McConaughey's favorite role I've seen him in. Dude, he's so he rocks in that movie. I like when he's like, "That's the thing about black holes. <laughs> I stay the same age." And there's still twenty. Dude, no, they literally. So there's literally away. the scene. And they still that... operate outside of <laughs> the time space continuum. <laughs> dude, in Interstellar, there's literally this scene where he lands on that ocean planet, and it's like a big wave, and like, yeah. and like someone in the spaceship is like, "What is that?" And he's like. It's a wave. And I was like, yo, I like, and he's, he's, he's like, he's, we're in between waves. Is, we're in like, we're, well, man. He's got a like, surfboard. He's like, it's a wave. wave. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tommy, I didn't even think about that. You probably see that and you're like, fucking get me out there, paddle. paddle Dude, me yeah, out. yeah. Just paddle my out. butt and get me get out. out Tell me out there in the Ranger. Mm -hmm. I would love to be on that <clears throat> wave planet. The wave Ripping planet. It up. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I haven't seen Oppenheimer. Heard great things. I watched so uh, Killers of the Flower Moon last That's night. That's great too. Mm -hmm. That yeah. ending is fantastic, right? I didn't. We see the ending. Don't. Oh, I, really? I, the I, ending's I, the I'm, best part. Hey, that's what I've heard. So I'm 20 minutes. I've t I'm literally gonna finish it after this episode. Dude, that's really funny to watch a four hour movie and make it to dude, 20 minutes. Yeah. Dude, I was so <laughs> sleepy. I was like, I was so <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> I, he's in his sleepy era. That's okay. I mean, dude, yeah, dude, Ryan. Okay. I got Actually, that's why I'm late for the podcast. I woke up late for my nap, and I was like, oh, <laughs> where's Miranda? Dude, I'm getting sick again, Ryan. Really? I, I'm worried that I'm going to get sick from being on the plane. I was sitting next to these, like, teenage girls that were just mm. the Ugh. whole time, and I'm just like, get a fucking clean it. Yeah. Dude. Um, dude, I think the plane did wanna, it to me, man. Can you guys recap your little, uh, your little ventures? Oh, I didn't, I didn't have God. to travel at all. Did you, did I you have some fucking fun? horrible Christmas? <laughs> what, what, what dude, Ryan, honest, mine wasn't horrible, but like, I'll let Ryan. Yeah. Like finish it off, but like, not, not worth it. Yeah. Did it's you, so did you do any traveling? Dude, we just hung out at the crib and like, I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know. Just being with your family for a while is like going baby mode, hanging out at the crib. Yeah, it's like, it's just it's, it's your lot. family, which yeah. is fine. It's fine, but then like spending that much money to like, it's just so much fucking money, and this tra traveling sucks. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But whatever. Yeah. Why? Wh why did yours suck? Well, I was with my parents. Love my parents. Parents rip. Love mm -hmm. both of them. And then uh, my aunt, whose husband just died, was there. And she would not shut the fuck up. She, she's in her eighties, which is about the age uh, Dracula became a vampire, which makes sense because she feels like an energy vampire. That she just, dude. She, you know how like sometimes you'll be in a social setting and you'll have a thought, and you'll, as you're about to say it, you'll go, "Oh wait, hold on. If I say this, no one's gonna give a fuck about it. And even if they did, they wouldn't have a way to respond to it. That for her is just out. She, she." She spent like 30 minutes just telling us about how she just had one credit card. And then after like explain, she was like, I've only had one credit card my entire life. And then like she's talking about it and we're all like, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. And then she's like, hold on, let me go get the credit. And we're like, we want to see, dude, she'd be so easy to scam. So just be like, just ask her. What's your, what are the numbers like on that Stupid credit card? You, yeah. you gotta, <laughs> hey, hey, I heard you've only had one credit card. First off, let me just say incredible, amazing. Right. Um, and to win the one credit card your whole life contest, just what's that number really quick? God, dude. And then she goes, let's, yeah, let's just confirm. She go. she was cold the entire time. She was freezing. So she's all, she always has like two blankets on. And then she's like, I keep my house at 77 degrees. Oof. And in the summer, 
it cools down to 77. In the winter, it heats up to 77. And we're all just looking at her like, all right, well, that's fucking insane. That's that's way too hot. We're not going to, we're not, we don't want a fucking rainforest in here. So yeah. we're going to keep it at 70, which is what the average human being likes to be in. Yeah. yeah. Still kind of warm for a <laughs> little bit thermostat. Seven, out, a little bit say. 70. But she's, you uh, want it at like, I said like 68, 69. I usually 70. I think 70 is pretty reasonable. And, okay. uh, right. and uh, especially if it's cold outside. Where is she living? Well, she's in Utah, but she's okay. uh she's with my parents. You know, we don't we didn't want her to be alone for well, Christmas. Well, that's good. And uh, and then did somebody have to drive out there and go get her? No, she they flew her in. Okay. Um, and then, dude, so she doesn't like football, which is whatever. But all she does at home, she has a there's a country music station that she turns on on her TV, and it's just old ass country. Okay, and she listens to that. She's kind of winning me back a little. She bit listens with that. to that all fucking day. Yeah. So. I'm like watching the game and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go take a shower before we have our Christmas dinner. Get out of the shower. Fucking game is off. Her country music's on. Oh, and then I, I have to go to my parents' room to watch the game. And then my dad comes in. He's like, yeah, I'm sorry. She doesn't like to watch football. And then I, I was like irritated at this point with her. And I'm like, yeah, God forbid, you know, even though everyone else in the home wants to watch football, God forbid mm -hmm. she fucking sits in here by herself. Mm -hmm. And listens to her dumbass country music. And then, so then the 49ers Ravens game is on. And I tell her ahead of time, we got it on in the living room. I go, listen, this is a big game. This is going to be a good game. I want to pay attention to this game. Mm -hmm. Five minutes into the game, she starts telling me about when my uncle died. And so now I'm just sitting there like, you know, like not trying to make too much eye contact with her to encourage her. Yeah. But I have to a little bit. But then I'm like going mm -hmm. back between her and the game. And she's like, we were together. For 62 years. And I'm like, that's crazy. Lamar Jackson just had a 62-yard rushing touchdown. We should pay attention to the game. And then she's like, she's like, I remember I was holding his hand, and I said to him, Bob, you are the best husband I could have ever asked for. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dude, that's so gay. It's so, like, if my, if me and my girlfriend get married and we're together for 62 years, our generation, I don't think, is going to be like that. I don't think we're going to be that sincere. Like, if I, if she's dying and I'm holding her hand, I'm not going to say she's the best wife. I'm going to be like, just so you know, I could have cheated on you a lot of times, and I didn't. So <laughs> I want you to know that. That's what I want you to know before you die. But uh, so then, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I, and she keeps going on and on about, oh, my husband's dead. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's been weeks. You know, the game is on <laughs> right now. <laughs> and I, I understand, but I only met Bob a couple times. He seemed like a nice guy. I'm sad he's dead. I want to watch the fucking game, mm -hmm. you know? But, uh, yeah, so she... Uh, I don't know. She's, I, I, I think my dad is starting to get a little annoyed with her too. Hopefully do they see her a lot? Not a, no, dude. I haven't seen her since I was like a kid. And oh, damn. She's just so fucking old. And she, I, even before that, she just never would shut the fuck up. She's one of those people yeah. that like, yeah. can't deal with. Science. How old are your parents? My dad is 72. My mom is 64 or seven, 63. Mm. Um, but, like, we have, like, a good vibe. Like, when it's me and my parents, we can sit there in silence and just be like, no, nah, yeah, we're just enjoying each other's company. Yeah. She was. It seems to be incapable of doing that. Do you it's, think it's because just because she thinks that, just because that's how she is or, like, she's uncomfortable? Doesn't sound like she's uncomfortable. I don't know, dude. She also, I think she's got, like, dementia or something because she, she told us. She did the credit card like four thing four times, and then she she brought up how cold it was. I don't know eight times, and then would tell us how what she keeps her house at. And every time you're we like, yeah, that's fucking crazy. That's still crazy. That's still way too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seventy seven degrees is way. What are you a lizard sitting what? on a rock? Yeah, how do you even you afford... cold blooded? Can you imagine, dude? I don't know. Dude, the heating bills and the ace. Well, yeah, in Utah, no, I don't. Know. And then she was like, she was like, uh, she was like, I'm gonna have to get you. A email address so we can and i was like yeah i don't think we need to do that i don't think i need you need my email address give her a fake email dude this lady's emailing <laughs> or is she wanted my number or my email dude, that's incredible but i was like i was like dude if your name pops up i'm not fucking responding to that shit mm -hmm. i'm sorry i i think you're uh i feel for you i also think uh we should bring the draft back and it should just be people who are 80 and older and then uh they get it'd be kind of fun like, they, here's the thing. So they get really good assisted living, right? Um, but they are in the Marines, you know? Yeah. So when we go to war, who better to go war, to war with China than people who still call them Chinamen? 
<laughs> you know, people who actually it's, hate it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of elderly women like accidentally drone striking their grandchildren yeah, they bring back <laughs> they bring back like just on they're just on the computer like drone striking somewhere no 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 they're not they're they are front lines and they know that you are far fodder we are we are trying to get china to run out of bullets mm-hmm. and you guys are going to be part of that but in the meantime you know like you're gonna. I I hope we bring back the old timey. Uh, they're, hey, they're in- on the war in China, <laughs> the boys were proud in their wheelchairs holding their bombs. <laughs> they sure most of them didn't know where they were, but they took a lot of Chinese with them. Dude, yeah, I recently watched <laughs> wow. I, over, over Christmas. Ryan, I watched Maestro yeah. with Bradley Cooper. You know, yeah. and it's like you know he's he's a he's a uh, playwright or uh, orchestra right in the 1940s. And dude, white dudes really had it back then when we were like, hey, Dan, listen, you know, yeah. they, we, we were crushing it with that voice. They're you know? storming the beaches was... of they're storming the beaches of Taiwan, but unfortunately, most of their wheelchairs are getting stuck in the mud. <laughs> it's a hard, tough fight for these. Listen, see? Whoa, doggy. All right, Grandma, yeah. have fun at boot camp. I, I'm in the Navy SEALs. Again. <laughs> All the guys who have already fought. Send up. them back. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have to go back. I don't, I don't want to fight the war, but but I don't want to fight the war. But, Grandpa, you were in the assisted living. But grandpa, uh, you're being annoying during <laughs> Christmas. But grandpa, you're annoying you're being me. I'm trying to watch a football game. Uh, <laughs> The boys were fought a valiant fight, but they all were killed by the younger Chinese. <laughs> I think I think it's solid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that worse than than making them pay five thousand dollars a month to live in assisted living, or or is it worse than sending a bunch of eighteen year olds yeah. there? Because <laughs> they've already people lived their a lot. Life. They've already lived. But I'm saying every country should get their l. Elderly to fight. Well, should, that's true. Let's if we crazy, all agreed to it, I think I think we should still have. 18 year olds that's who's like comes in after china runs out of bullets okay and then it's like the real real american military no dude in. maybe maybe that's no, just no 18, 18 year olds no yeah, no that's when we send oh, only in. old only old people sorry yeah. your idea is too good no it goes down so that's when we send in like the 60 year olds oh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. That's when our parents are going in. as long as we win it before we go in <laughs> yeah, yeah it would be all right dude and here's the thing we also make politicians do it that's the first people who get drafted is like Joe Biden would be the first person to get drafted dude, to Trump. Dude, better yeah. to lead mm-hmm. the the army of old mm-hmm. than Joe Biden. And plus, dude, Joe Biden's going to fight hard as hell to touch some of those kids' legs. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure, yeah. I feel like he doesn't like Chinese kids, though. No? Yeah. Man. Feels like Joe Biden They've got rough, does not like Chinese. They've got rough skin for children. I think that's a very safe thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> He's he's of that era. I think I think if you said that in front of Joe Biden, he's been like he'd be like that. You know, I feel I feel seen now. Now that you said that, <laughs> kind of feel after you said I don't like Chinese kids. Now I kind of feel seen. And I mean, I'm Irish, of course. And I really appreciate. And I really, Joe like Biden's all about. He always goes. He always goes up in octave. He always goes. He's always gonna, he's going up here and he's coming down, down. Yeah, the whisper. The secret. Yeah. You know? We're here today. Now we're coming up, and now we're streaming. Now we're getting excited. And now we're coming down, and now we're. Relax. Why does he? Secret. Why does he have like a little southern twang? I don't really. He's from Maine. No, he's from uh, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah, I guess that is. Who cares? It's a. He's same. from Maine. Yeah, no way. Delaware. Nobody he's the same shit, dude. Those shit. little tiny states piss me the fuck off. Dude, dude. Maine is big. Though. I'm. I'm gonna Maine, say this Maine's though. Big dogger. I don't like looking at the United States map, <laughs> and then there's all those ones where they can't even fit the two letters. In there, they have to do a little yeah. arrow pointing uh-huh. to it. It's like you know what? Yeah, you're Rhode Island. Sorry, dude. You're Delaware, too small to be a state, advocates. motherfucker. Make yeah. make one big state out of those things. Yeah, and call it shit. Shit fucks. State. Shit fucksville. Shit fucks. Shit fuck a Shit fuck. Shit fucks again. Dude, I, I maybe got an apology to the man. Uh, I uh, went out. Speaking of small town and whatever, I went out. Uh, 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 Christmas. Eve, whatever, went out to the bar to meet up with a friend just for like a couple drinks. And uh I'm talking to her friends, like her coworkers, and they live way out in I don't know, a town past Minnetonka, you know. Honky anyways, Tonka. Yeah. Anyways, uh, they're like racist. That? That's pretty great. Honky Tonka. Is it honky t- really? <laughs> no, really? no, but that's no. a that's a funny thing to call Minnetonka. Honky Tonka. <laughs> Are y'all from Honky Tonka? Anyways, anyways, Honky like, Tonka uh, truck. I know we're gonna name this episode. Y'all from Honky Tonka Honky truck. Tonka. <laughs> anyways, I'm talking to this girl, and she's like, 
oh, you're from New York. Oh my, I couldn't, like, I could never, like, that sounds awful. I could never do it. And I was like, yeah, that's great that you don't have that. Like, you don't have to that. <laughs> yeah. Like, a, no one's making you. And she's like, I mean, it's just the crime and no, the you people. should feel bad for living there. It's that's terrible. What I mean. And I went, I was like, yeah, that sounds like something that would be very bad for you. Like you should never, I was like, I told her, I was like, it's a good thing that you never have to go. Isn't this great? Cause she's trying, she's like wasted trying to like start a fight. Yeah. She yeah. just or wants like, to or like, or have a confrontation where it's like, she wants me to go. What she wants to say is I hate people and black people all hanging out. Yeah. That stresses me out. That's yeah. what she wants to convey. And she wants me to go. Yes. You're so valid and right. No, for what she wants that. you to do is go, no, 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 no. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. It's actually the best place and better. But yeah. I won't do that. I won't say any place is better. So I just go, I go, that is great that you've found out that you probably hated hate New York. That's so good that you know that. And then she goes, no. And she keeps going. I'm just like, <laughs> what are I was just like, hey, no one's asking you to come. Like, you don't have yeah. to go. What are we talking about? So... People and then family, like your your mom's friends too, are just like, ugh, New York. I mean, it's just it's violent there. And I go, well, fucking, it's fine. I don't know. Yeah. It's always it's always been. Yeah, there's there's ten million people there. Yeah, there's ten million. It's honestly <laughs> a miracle that it works even a little bit. Yeah. That you can make it's fucking really not violent. <laughs> yeah, if that you can, the idea be. that yeah. the idea that you can make twelve million people live on a th six mile d island that an island that la that goes for six miles that's like and there's only like a f there's just a few fights and i was like that's incredible every day i'm just like how is everyone not killing each other you yeah. know yeah. so numbers wise it's pretty good yeah yeah so yeah i had to have a few of those conversations uh I, New York. yeah so sometimes and then the one and then the one dad who's just like I want to go, want to go party in there. So bad. Like, uh, how much pussy are you getting? And I'm like, ah, not that much. And he's just like, hold on to it. I hate my life. <laughs> actually, the girls were right. I'm like, actually, only not that much. And I, my, uh, my dick doesn't get hard because I have anxiety. Uh, fuck. Joy mode. <laughs> yeah, uh, joy mode. He had drop in the joy mode. You, we should. That's all we should have been doing is just trying to convince our family members to get joy mode over for Christmas. I should have <laughs> gotten scammed my aunt into yeah. into buying joy mode, I'm telling yeah. her it's going to keep her warm at night. <laughs> well, now that Bob's gone, someone something's going to need yeah. to keep you warm. Let me see that OG credit card you've been holding on for uh, a thousand years. God, she's so fucking old, dude. She was so fucking old. That I think that is just a part of. Uh, like the holidays though is like just sitting in conversations you don't enjoy and Dude, just it's mind. a lot of just and then like you're my mom just being like like every here's the thing that's been happening with my mom every new detail that she finds out about me and and i'll be telling her something i'll be like yeah so like i'm running a show here she'll be like oh i didn't know that you don't tell me anything and i'm like yeah. this is what this is how we're gonna communicate though i'm gonna i'm coming here to tell you stuff yeah. And every single thing she guilt strips <laughs> me into everything. You know, I'll be like, uh, you know, yeah, I got to, you know, I've, I've been wearing this new brand. And she's like, I didn't know you liked the, their clothes. <laughs> why, why? I had no idea. I would have bought you some. And I'm like, I know you feel it, you, you're not left out. I know you're feeling a little left out, but uh, you don't need to know. Like, I was like, I joined a men's basketball league. And she's like, <laughs> what? She basically wants to have this podcast with you. <laughs> Dude, and then she told me she listened to 20 minutes of this podcast and she's like, I it's just all poop stuff in the beginning. And I and I told her not to listen to it too. I was like, Mom, you're not gonna want to listen to this podcast. It's a lot of cum talk, it's a lot of poop talk. Mm -hmm. It's fucking guys being dudes. But I was just like, Don't I was like, it's you're gonna not like you're gonna not like me, you know. Yeah. Like and then and then sure enough, she listens to it and she's like, I just didn't, I didn't like, I didn't get it, I didn't like it, and I go, well then I don't need the, I don't need to hear that. I'll also, well, mom, two thousand monthly listeners or <laughs> listens can't be wrong. It's it's the uh, the <laughs> don't don't drop our fucking stats. They're not gonna listen. <laughs> they're not gonna listen this far, and they're gonna go, oh, you did the no, not average? for the, not for that, uh -oh. just for anybody. Two thousand is something to be proud of. That's all right. Um, um, so, um, but hold, it, it's fun. It, like, 
I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 not I that. No, up. no. I'm going off. No, you didn't. I you did. <laughs> dude, Ryan, you did not go joy mode there. Oh, dude. Awful. Hey, what about this? Uh, peanut M and M's. What about penis M and M's? When are they gonna come out with those, <laughs> huh, ladies? How about pussy M and M's, huh, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> It's a little, it's a little, it's an M and M with a little bit of pussy in there, a little bit of pussy in the middle of M and M. How about that? Did that at Acme last night? How did it work? Good. Yeah, dude, I did the. Um, my girl got a yeast infection. I got a beast infection, and then I, I flexed at the crowd. I had put the mic down. <laughs> Crush, dude. Crush. How was it last night? Uh, pretty fun. There was like it was like uh two thirds full, and I uh, I got. I got off right when I got that four and a half light, nice. brother. I got it's the way to the go. The fuck out of there. It's the way to go. I huh? ran light last week, Tommy. I was a bad, naughty little shit. <laughs> I was a bad, naughty little fuck. Tommy, you deserve it. I think you should do that thing about your mom as a bit. That sounds like like a really mm -hmm. solid premise. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's related. But it's just the I think constant. It is. I dude. Oh my god, we're in the airport, like going over to our place and i'm like so what we're having like people over tonight and she's like yeah i was in the group chat what are you are, are you not a part of the family anymore and i'm like oh what my the fuck? god dude i'm like what the f i'm like I, I i'm a, and i'm at the point where i'm just like mom shut up like Did she not know that you don't read anything <laughs> yeah i'm like i don't read shit uh <laughs> but i'm like no I, i'm i'm just like making small talk i'm like, yeah oh we'll, we'll parties tonight she's like yeah you and you would know that if and it's just a constant uh, but yeah. you do want to go right to her just be like you know this is like exactly why i i took a long break from being in this family. yeah and also like fucking yeah i don't read the group i don't give a shit like i don't fucking just tell me when i show up that there's a party tonight you think i'm gonna go no I, I have no say in how this Christmas goes. I just show up and things happen. <laughs> I literally just show up and things happen and people yell and get drunk. And I just go, great, awesome, sick, sick family. And then I leave. And then I'm tired. That's, That's okay. Problem. And you got to do that. And, and you have to spend $500 to go do that. Well, maybe that buys you like next year you don't have to. Or next year just be like, yeah, you got to pay for my plane ticket, dude. That's the move. Dude, or just fucking not. like. My parents pay for mine. I know that might be like, ooh, what the fuck? But I'm not going back if they're not. I'll, if I drive, I'll pay for gas and Where shit. Where do you fly but, into? Uh, Fucking Billings. It's kind of a, the flight is never that good, dude. It's got to be kind of short though, right? It's like uh, just long enough to watch a movie. It's like two and a half hours. Oh, shit. But I had to leave, dude. I left Friday at 10 p.m. was my flight. And then you lose an hour or you gain, oh, however that works. So I got there at like 1130. Yeah. And then Tuesday I had to get up at like 4 a.m. Uh, and then I flew out at 630. <laughs> Dude, I flew out at, I flew out at 530 in the morning. These Dude. are brutal. I, just, I got up at 4 a.m. I went to bed at 3 a.m. Do you really think you really. And then I'm like, uh, why am I sick? Why do I feel bad <laughs> after being in a fart tube with one hour of sleep? Yeah. You feel like such a genius when you're like, dude, I'm gonna get up early and get home early. And it's like, no. You, dude, you dude, every you feel like a genius when you're yourself like, mm, through I'm it. gonna stay up all night and that way I will never be tired. And it's dude, like you know what, dude, that what's night, the fucking mad that night that I left you from the bar in New York, Tommy. I was I was in such it you lose uh, like another day on the end of yeah. it. Like you think you're gaining time, but you lose like that whole next day for sure. You're gonna be so dude, like, exhausted anyway so you might as well get just, home like, get yeah drunk. oh my god bro and then uh i fucking so then i sleep like most of the day but you know i wake up at like you know 2 p.m 3 p.m and then i do some chores or whatever but i'm still kind of groggy all day but like i don't know i'm like not tired to go to sleep so i take like a melatonin you know that's why i had to cancel killers of the flower moon a little early you know because wow. that that tone and mm -hmm. that tone was kicking in and uh, I think of melatonin, but I'm, I think I'm done with melatonin because it's giving me like weird dreams and stuff like that. Because yeah. I woke up and I had a pile of laundry on my floor and I thought it was clay. <laughs> and so I go, <laughs> so you can, clay is, so this is that, this is that like 1230. <laughs> yeah, like clay's, clay's in the Fortnite zone, you know, he's on the couch. So I'm like <laughs> in my room going like, yo, buddy, yo, what dude, what's up? 
And I'm not even like, I'm just like, oh, it's, did Clay accidentally like get drunk and sleep in my room? I'm not even like surprised. Yeah. Like, you're see, close. And I just go, I go, yo, Clay. And then I, 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 this happens for like two seconds where I'm just like, yo, buddy, yo. And then I just like, and then I just, it just like all clicks in and I'm like, I, this is a pile of laundry. Like this <laughs> is just a pile of laundry. But I'm not kidding. For two seconds, my brain was like, that is your roommate and friend Clay. Like it looked exactly like him. For like two seconds and then i go outside the room and i go hey man sorry about that i thought you were like in my room from i thought you were like a pile of you know but it was just a pile of laundry you know i was like i took a melatonin and then clay's like yeah you're good man and i was like all right i'm gonna go to <laughs> i'd love it if there was just a pile of laundry yeah. out there playing fortnite <laughs> when play was in your bedroom <laughs> it's like where are you going your your huh. hat man is just clay just a just a snorlax no dude guy. i got hat man by clay i got hat, i got totally hat man you know by the he- way i came i came across your your hat man podcast sketch again recently that shit was so fucking good dude thank you dude please watch my sketches <laughs> please watch my sketches that i'm putting out on instagram reels They're great man they're great I need, I need thank you i need the i need the real gods to, to bless yeah Mm -hmm. yeah maybe that's what you're okay so we got five minutes left should we this is the new year's episode happy new year's everybody or do we have any me and tommy were kind of going over our new year's plans and stuff you got any uh new year's resolutions or anything ryan um other than using joy mode i'm just gonna keep doing the shit that i've been doing i feel like i'm in a pretty good place i don't really need to get better at all um i'll get better at comedy that's the only resolution i have maybe be a more gentle lover um kinder but i don't think i'm gonna do either of those things i think i'm just gonna get (laughs) way better at comedy maybe i'll start working out again i don't think so though i think i think i just want to get so fucking funny i'm gonna be at disco death tomorrow though if you're listening to this check that show out that should be fun usually that crowd is a little isn't that normally on friday yeah but doesn't this come out thursday Oh yeah, sure. so, yeah. I'll be. Oh, yeah, I'll be. I'll be at the. You're all good, dude. You're so smart, Grant. Thanks, bro. See, I'm becoming gentler and kinder. Yeah. Gentler and kinder as we. Grant, you're so smart, and Tommy, you're you're so loud, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would like to get better at uh sending emails, maybe, or like doing some like business side of hmm. comedy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Give, it, give us a give us a taste of the business. You know, going hey. uh can I um can I do your thing, mm-hmm. please? I yeah. Swear to God, I'm pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. That's mm-hmm. good. What do you think about that? It was good. That's if a, not, if not, it's fine. It was really good. That's the best. That's that's perfect, right? Just there. add their name somewhere in there. Yeah, so specific. Okay. So Grant's the Booker. Hey, uh, Lauren Michaels, can I do your thing sometime? If not, mm-hmm. fine. It's all good. Just yeah. let me know. What do you what do you say? I just stay silent because that's what mm-hmm. you just don't. That's what people usually you're do. not gonna get a response. So. Mm-hmm. All right, let if, me try. Uh, let me try another. What's another hit show? Hey, um, that that seventy show. Hey, uh, Red from that seventy show, the dad. I know you book it. Yeah. Um, Dude, the dad of every show books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the dad of every sitcom hires everybody. <laughs> that goes without saying. Um, yeah, don't even say it again. Yeah, I don't need yet. I, I know that's like that first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like super obvious, you know. So I don't even know why I'm the character sorry. too, not the yeah, not the yeah, actor. the character, not the the actor doesn't the character, the actor gets hired as the character, and the character finds what's best <laughs> in character. The <laughs> but he has to hire in character. That character hires that character. No, that character actually has to marry a woman and have real children. <laughs> Damn, dude, what a lot. So I'm asking Red, the dad from that '70s show. Hey, man. Yo, hey, uh, it's me, Tommy. I'm a comedian based out of New York. Uh, I was just wondering if I could be on the show sometime. If not, totally cool. Just uh, get back to me. Um, I also have a podcast. I'll put a boot up your ass. Mm-hmm. My foot up Dumbass. Your ass. Dumbass. You see, what, I knew you. Okay. I don't even have email. <laughs> how am I How am I hearing this or responding it, to it? What are, what are you? Dumbass. <laughs> it's 1970s. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> See, I, I thought you. I thought. Wait. See, I thought you would say something like that, and uh, just in case that you said that, which you did. Um, 
you know, I just want to say that uh, that's hilarious. Another reason why I'm a fan of the show. Um, and I, another reason why I think I'd be a good fit uh, for the you're show. You're because in. I think you're in, dumbass. Wow. Fucking well, you're fucking stupid. You're going to play Kelso. Wow. Well, uh, damn. Well, this plan worked out actually perfectly. Making really Kelso surprised. gay. <laughs> oh. Wow. Shouldn't that just be Eric then? Oh, you're going to have to kiss <laughs> men. Like that's his vibe. Yeah, he is gay. Um, dude, I got a fucked up hair. <laughs> yesterday, bro. Look at, okay, hold on. Oh hold on. Look at this shit. I have no sideburns. Now. I walk into this great clips, and it, all right. First of all, I got a beef with people. Saying, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Great clips, more like not so great clips. Oh damn. Usually they are great. I everyone always says, "Well, that's your first problem is you're going to great clips." I'm like, no. Usually they do a great job. It's in the name. But I go in, I go in, and it's this Russian bitch, and she goes, "We have, we have them. What do you want?" And I go, "Yeah, I like like a two on the sides, and then I like my curly hair, so just barely touch it, just <laughs> just a touch up." And she goes, "We'll do what's on file." I go, "Yeah, if on that's, file, yeah, it's like they have like the." And I'm like, "They yeah. have a dossier on you." I'm like, "Yeah, if but that's what." Do that great clips though? They do have a dossier on you, but yeah. at great clips, your file is not a living and breathing document. You get no, one haircut in there, yeah, and, you and then that's forever. <laughs> So then I'm like, I'm like, I'm I'm telling her, I'm like, yeah, if that's what I just told you, then yeah, do that. She immediately cuts my sideburns completely off. And then, dude, she kept cutting and cutting and cutting. And I'm looking, and then she does the thing at the end where she like holds the mirror up and she's like, what do you think? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I think you fucked up. Bitch. I think, I don't think you listen to me at all, dude. And, but I have to like, I'm about to cry, you know, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know? What did I tip? Twenty percent, dude. I tipped her five. Normally, I tip ten. But five like, bucks is a good, great clip. She goes, tip. It's, it's a good, great it's a good tips. clips. Great tips. It's a great, great clips. clips. Fine tips. What about Fine great tips? What about great tips, dude? What about Doable that? tips? Um, hey, but, I think from now on we've learned though, save the great clips for your Instagram. Brother. Fuck that bitch though, dude. I got, I got in my. She was like, she was like, what I'm going to do to your head? What we have done to Ukraine? I'm gonna fuck up your oh, shit. No. I, oh, I, I, I'm just in the car, dude. And then she tried to upsell me on some pomade. I'm like, I'm not fucking buying pomade from you. You <laughs> fucked it up. You know, that lemonade just, made of palms. Dude, I was just in the fucking, I was in the car just like looking at my hair like, you <laughs> Russian bitch, you fucking asshole. Why did you do this? <laughs> I was about to cry, dude. I missed my curls. And so now I got to go with the head. She did kind of fuck you up a little dude, bit. Dude, she fucked me I, up, I didn't, bro. like, I haven't seen the dude. shape of the back of your head in Look, a long just, time. Like, yeah. No sideburns. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I, I almost left a bad review, it's dude. Okay. Nah. I almost did. I, I was so, dis- I was like, dude, you just you set me back months, lady. Mm-hmm. I got to wear a hat for months. Luckily, now. luckily, you can transition into hat guy pretty easily. Oh. But the problem is... It's not that bad, man. Also, you've been wearing a definitely hat. Definitely not that bad, it's yeah. It's a little worse because you're... It's not that bad. bad, but it's definitely, like, not a normal not good, haircut. Dude. It's just a little bit shorter than it normally is. I don't know why she did that, dude. I don't know why the fuck... And then she was like, I don't know, dude. Why did fuck you that lady. Me? Why did you do this to me? Look how they was... look how they massacred my boy, <laughs> dude. I was about to just like yeah, look how they yassified him. <laughs> yeah, and then everyone I show it to, they're like, "Oh, it's not that bad." And I'm like, "Yes, it fucking is." It's just dude. different. Is, it's horrible. It's just different. The yeah. sideburns gonna grow back a lot faster than the rest of it. Oh, so if, if that's what you're worried about, no, I'm worried about the curls. I wanted my fucking I. I'm like mourning the death of my curls. Like yeah. my aunt is mourning the death of her husband, Bob. Bob. He was a good different guy. different type of haircut. He was a good as guy. well. They think he died of a heart attack. I think they should investigate suicide though, because she did not <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. I would kill myself if I had to deal with that shit. Right. I'm serious. Right. Okay. I'm yeah. Let's serious, bro. Let's uh let's end on that. Um yeah, that's beautiful. Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> mm-hmm. Happy New Year's. Thanks for listening. Uh write in those apologies. Um, God bless you fuckers. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah. All right. That's, thanks for listening, guys. Bye, bitch. All right, peace. Bye. That was a good episode. <laughs> it's great. All right. <sighs>